The last time I got drunk was New Year's Eve 2017 and I was living in Hollywood and went to a bar where I was friends with all the bartenders. So needless to say, I got a bunch of heavy handed pours of drinks that I completely lost count of and don't really remember my Uber ride home, fell asleep in my clothes with the lights on, classic. And for me, New Year's Eve, more than the partying, I actually really get into it. I love New Year's resolutions. I love fresh start. I love the spiritual, like going through the portal into a new year. So New Year's Day is always very exciting for me. I like to like set intentions and move forward with uh, goals and ambitions and yada yada. Next day I woke up and instead of feeling excited and ready to take on a new year, I felt like I was gonna die. And I stubbornly went to a coffee shop where my plan was to like journal and sit my coffee and like vision board and all of that. And I barely made it. <laughs> I basically crawled to my car and stubbornly drove there and was like, okay, I'll feel better if I have a coffee. And I took a sip and all of a sudden I was like, things got real bad. And I took another sip and just that flush of like nausea and sweats, but also chills. And I was like, oh man, something's about to come up. So luckily I made it to my car and sped home and kind of halfway ran up the stairs to my third floor apartment and got to the bathroom and projectile vomited several times. And then spent the rest of the day in bed, shivering and nauseous and not able to eat or drink and just feeling like I was going to die. Great way to start the year. and. You know, that was, that's maybe okay, like in high school or college, cause we all have to have that rite of passage. But I was like, I'm in my thirties, what am I doing? And something kind of just clicked where I was like, I don't ever want to do this again, this sucks. And of course, like we've all had those moments of like, you're completely hungover and you say, oh, I'm just, I'm never gonna drink again. And then a week later you're drinking. But something was different this time. This switch went off where I was like, I'm not ever going to do this to my body again. This is ridiculous. I eat a fully vegan diet. I was a still professional athlete at that time. I value my health and I was just putting this poison into myself or the fact to the point where I was projectile vomiting in my thirties, like this is a joke. So something clicked and I've never been drunk since then. I have over the next couple years, there were maybe like a handful of instances each year where I had like one or two drinks, never more than two, usually just one. And every single time I did, I was like, this sucks. Like I never got that sick again, but I would always wake up the next day feeling super depressed, super anxious, super brain foggy. My skin would blow, um, blow out with acne. I would, my tummy would be bloated. I feel super tired and of course like the bank accounts down because drinks are expensive everywhere. <laughs> um, not to can't mention like Ubering home and every single time I was just like, this is not adding value to my life. And even in the moment, like being drunk or having the slight buzz, it was never really enjoyable anymore because I actually now and later in life, um, I enjoy having a clear head. I, the, the, the slight buzz or that people usually get excited about was not pleasant. I felt, didn't like feeling out of control. I didn't like feeling foggy. I didn't like that. I didn't have control over getting my way home. Um, I definitely prior to the years of Uber, I'm certainly not proud of this, but there were definitely times I got behind the wheel when I absolutely shouldn't have. Um, and that all is just not a good time to me. And so every, it sort of kept tapering and tapering to the point where it really just phased out as something I absolutely have no interest in. Um, I didn't have to like fight to get sober, um, hats off to those people because it is a really addictive substance. So there are a lot of people that really struggle with stopping and my heart goes out to you. For me, there was really no effort. It was kind of just a falling away of like, this sucks. I don't want to do it anymore. It's costing me money. It makes me depressed. It makes me anxious. It makes me not able to get home safely sometimes at the end of the night. It 
makes my skin break out, it makes my tummy bloated, it drains my bank account, and it makes me foggy the next day. So it's like, what's the point? And also on a bigger level, like I don't want to have to have a substance to be able to have fun in life. Like to me, that seems like almost a cop out. And again, this is not a judgment. If you drink, like, cool, like your life is your life. It's your choices. This is just my experience I'm sharing um, and my personal values of, I don't wanna have to take a substance to feel good. I wanna just feel good. And if I don't feel good, then I need to do some work, right? I need to do some inner work. Maybe I need to, maybe my job sucks or I'm in a bad relationship or I'm living somewhere that's not right for me or I need to work on childhood trauma. We all have that, right? Um, I want to just be able to feel good naturally and not have to take any other kind of substance to have that high. I want to be high on life, <laughs> um, but it's true. And I mean, that's why I don't do that either. Never been interested in that. So, um, but yeah, basically over the next couple years, every time it, I would drink, I was like, this sucks. Why am I doing it? And so finally it, eventually I had my last drink and it just stopped and it's just, it doesn't, I never feel FOMO, right? Like you think like, oh, but what are you gonna do on, if you're out with friends or you're at a wedding and I do all those things. I go to fancy dinners sometimes, not often actually, but I'll go to dinner with friends and they're all drinking and I don't and it's fine. I've gone to bars or clubs with friends and I get a soda water with lime, that's my fancy drink. And I've been to a bunch of weddings recently and everyone does the champagne toast. I raise a glass of water and guess what? No one cares and I don't care. And to wake up the next day when everyone else is hung over and flying home, I've done, I was at the East Coast several times recently in the past couple of years, flying home from a wedding the day after. And let me tell you, flying home hungover is a special kind of hell. I, I flew home from Vegas years and years ago, wretchedly hungover, and the flight was of course delayed because karma. Um, and we, my, me and my sister were laying on the floor at the disgusting Vegas airport, eating pretzels and that, that like cheese dip stuff. And the air conditioning was broken on the plane. And flying hungover is a special kind of hell that I don't wish upon anyone. And But now I don't ever have to deal with that. And when I'm out with my friends, and they all have to Uber home because they've been drinking, I can just drive myself home. And when the bill comes, my dinners are not expensive because I'm having water. I don't really like the mocktail things either because I've never drank for the flavor of alcohol. I never really understood that. And again, if you enjoy those things, cool. This is just my experience. So um, it saves me a ton of money and I don't wake up feeling cloudy or foggy or have bad skin or bad breath or feel that sense of, I used to wake up after drinking and feel this like impending sense of doom, like something went wrong or I did something wrong or I said something stupid or the world's gonna end or my life is over. And really that's just, you pumped up your serotonin from drinking and then you really depleted your surprise. So it's a come down. So you feel like crap and you feel like the world is ending. and. I don't get that now and I can still actually have fun and I have more fun with when I'm out and because it's actually really liberating like wow I can have a good time like just from my the connection of the people I'm with and myself like cool I don't need something so to me it's awesome and I don't miss it I would never it's it doesn't strike me as like something oh, well, maybe in moderation or someday I'll come back to it. It's like completely off my radar as something I would ever put in my body again. And I'm really happy that it's not part of my life. Um, so if you drink, cool. Again, your life is your life. But if you're curious about what life is like on the other side of it, um, my personal experience, it's pretty great. Um, I know lots of people try out dry January because New Year's and whatever. So give it a go and see how your bank account goes up. <laughs> uh, see how your mood stabilizes. See how it's, it's kind of like this almost like, mm, what's the word for it? Like a cheat or a hack or like a secret club feeling like to go out and like everyone's drinking their face off and just to sip soda water and lime and be like, I'm cool. I'm good. Like. I don't know, it just feels empowering to me and I, I enjoy it. Um, and certainly 
the past eight years I've lived in Hollywood and then now I'm in the beach in North County of San Diego. It's very expensive. <laughs> um, I get to live somewhere awesome, which is great, but I, I, I definitely, if I was spending hundreds of dollars a month or even a week, like some of my friends do on alcohol, I could not afford to live here. So to, to me, there's literally zero negatives of being sober and 100% positives. Um, so that's the story for today. Try it out if you're if you're slanting towards like hmm like you know think about it we we do all these things as adults in social circumstances because it's just what everyone else is doing but sometimes it feels good to make your own rules and your own decisions and if you look at it like it's deprivation then you're probably going to have a hard time with it like if it feels like you're you're cutting out something awesome from your life then you're probably going to come back to it. But to me, it feels, it didn't feel like deprivation to lose it. It feels like adding value to my life to, to release it. It's like, it was like taking out the trash in a certain way. Uh, so let me know in the comments, um, if you're curious about trying out sobriety and what would be, what are your blocks? What stops you from doing it? And, or maybe even just cutting out to, to less, um, all right, that's it for today. Thanks for listening and have a good one. Bye.